Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome back to another FPV flight tutorial video. In this lesson, it's going to be a pretty simple lesson and we're going to just cover something that I think is often overlooked, which is disarming your quadcopter. And I know it sounds it, it sounds so simple that it sounds stupid, but um, it's an important thing and it could it's, it's an important safety thing. It could save you your quadcopter. It could save you your fingers. Uh, so it's important. We're going to talk about it just really briefly. Here we go. So let's get into uh, the liftoff simulator that we've been using for this flight tutorial series. Now, what an arming switch is, is just a dedicated switch on your transmitter I like to use the far left switch for mine, and that is like a safety switch. So you flip that switch and your quadcopter will be disabled and the motors will stop spinning. Now in this simulator, I actually don't have a, a an arming switch enabled. I'm not even sure if you can actually, but I'm just going to pretend and actually use my switch because we're going to build muscle memory this way. This is very, very important, muscle memory very important. So I'm going to flip my arming switch to arm my quadcopter and start flying. I'm going to fly around a little bit and then I'm going to be like, oh no, I'm losing control. Ah, and then disarm. Okay. Disarm. So just practice that, you know, practice. And so arming, we're going to, we're going to fly and we're going to land and disarm and we're going to arm it. We're going to fly we're gonna, let's say we're going towards this hay bale and we're like, oh no. And we're like, well, bam, we hit the hay bale, we flip over, disarm, okay? So just just build that muscle memory um, of getting, getting used to flipping that disarming switch with your finger. I usually always have my finger like right on the disarming switch, ready to shut off my quadcopter. And this is important because your quadcopter, uh, well, it might save the propellers so that they don't chop something up or get chopped up and then they won't chop something up. Um, like if you're flying towards something that you don't wanna be flying towards, like a person or a car or a window or a dog or whatever. Um, and, and, or if you feel like your quadcopter is like starting to get away from you, and you're not quite sure how to control it and you're like oh no i'm starting to get into this weird thing just disarm that thing just disarm it and again it's not actually doing it on the simulator but we're practicing here and then we can rearm and we can fly and then we can, and then also when we land we land we disarm so it's just like an automatic thing just practice that until it gets automatic i know it's not the most exciting thing to practice but i'm telling you it's really a really good habit to have and it could save you, uh, could save you your quadcopter, could save you your fingers. And the reason why we're practicing this, because you might think like, oh, Adam, that's such a simple thing. Like, I don't need to practice that. Well, when you're flying around, especially when you're under the gog goggles, it, it gets kind of intense. Like you might not think that it would be, but it's a pretty immersive experience. And so your adrenaline might be pumping, you know, you're excited. Uh, maybe you're kind of freaked out because you just crash or something and you want to, you want to just jump up and go find your quadcopter. But if your quadcopter is upside down and it's still spinning, you might burn out a motor. You might burn out an ESC. It could, I mean, potentially catch on fire. Um, it could be a situation where maybe it lands in a puddle and you don't want you don't want the electricity flowing to the motors all kinds of different stuff uh all kinds of reasons why you would want to turn off your quadcopter disable the the motors um it doesn't actually turn everything off on your quadcopter but it will disable it so you disarm and there you go that's that is how um i don't know where i was going with that <laughs> Okay, right, right. Okay, yeah. So you might be in a panic or might be really excited and forget to disarm. And so that's why we're going to build this muscle memory of uh, as soon as my quadcopter seems like it's it's going sideways and weird things are happening, I'm just going to disarm because your quadcopter might crash, but it will probably be in a lot better shape if you disarm in time and it's just a lot safer that way. So that's it for this lesson. I know it was super super short, super simple. Um, but I think it's really important and it often gets overlooked. So thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to do a lot more fun stuff than this. So stick around for that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. I appreciate you guys and I will see you again very soon on the next lesson.